My name is Kimberly Cutter, and I'm the author of The Maid, a novel of Joan of Arc. This story is told almost entirely from her perspective and really tries to get under her skin and to try and imagine what it was like to be Joan of Arc, to think of Joan of Arc as a real human being, to strip away the saintly associations that people have of her or the, the idea that she was mad or the idea that she was a witch. She was an illiterate 17-year-old peasant who could not read or write. And so for her, her life would have been much more visceral, much more immediate, a direct experience as opposed to the experience with the benefit of history in mind. She is 17, a peasant, unschooled, simple as a thumb. Fear has no place in her heart yet, though soon enough it will. Soon enough she will be caged, tortured, branded a witch, a whore, a limb of Satan. But on this morning she is simply God's arrow, shot across the winterland, brilliant and savage and divine, unstoppable. France simply had run out of options. They really didn't have anything left to lose. And here, out of nowhere, comes this, you know, amazing teenager dressed as, as a boy from the hills of France saying, I am sent by God to save you. Put me in charge of your army and I will save you. And it worked. <laughs> I think the beautiful thing about Joan of Arc was that she was so perfectly convicted in what she believed that it literally lit her up from within. We live in a time when it's very hard to have faith in your own conviction because we have so many voices in our heads and so much input coming at us all the time. And I think she's an incredibly inspiring example of what can be done if you hold steady with, to the power of your own conviction. There's a reason why she is a legend. There's a reason why people have consistently been so fascinated by her. And it's simply that what she did was just absolutely extraordinary. Her life was one of the most astonishing lives that has ever existed on this planet.